Hello guys, welcome back to this Sprinter camper conversion. In last week's video we were putting the timber battens down and insulating in between them with Celotex. We foil taped over everything to make it a complete vapour seal and in today's video we're going to be putting down the plywood flooring. So let's jump into the van and let's get cracking. Right, what we've got set up here is I've got the old van floor on a couple of trestles here in the garden. It's quite big the old floor and it won't fit in the workshop so we've come outside. I've got one of the new plywood floor panels laid on top of it and I'm going to use the old floor as a template. I'm just going to draw around it with a marker pen and then with the skill saw and a jigsaw I'm going to cut the new floor out to the same shape. We've marked the board out so it's now it's just a case of cutting these shapes. the old floor there were some fixing down bolts which were these circular cups but obviously I can't tie anything down to that in the garage so what I've done is I've transferred the circular hole from the old floor just to give me a center point and then this is what I want to put in here one of these tie down loops so I've just positioned this over that center mark I've drawn around it and then I'm going to cut the ply out to suit this shape and then these are what we're going to fit in the middle of the garage floor There we go, I've cut the hole in the new plywood top and now that'll accept that recessed cup for the tie down bolts. To reinforce this edge where the two plywood boards meet, I'm just going to cut some biscuits in here. They're small little wafers of wood, I'm going to cut a slot in the edge of the board with this biscuit cutter and then that's going to insert that biscuit in there and it will just reinforce that joint and stop the two boards flexing. just marked around the inside of the plywood hole onto the insulation. These hold down trays are a little bit deeper than the plier so we're just going to have to cut away a little bit of the insulation and then repair the foil with some foil tape. That's the existing tie down bolts back in the new ply floor. We've got some extended bolts to go into the holes because obviously the floor's about 40 mil higher now with the insulation and battens. What I will do at some stage, I'll probably have these back out. I'll give them a brush down and repaint just to tidy them up. the first two boards in just two more boards to go
all the new floor down. At the moment it's just laid in and butt jointed with those biscuits. What we did earlier before we started laying the floor is we just put some tape on the side wall of the van to mark where the battens are. So all I need to do now is just ping some lines across the floor and then we'll drill countersink and screw the boards to the battens. I'm really pleased how that new floor looks. Those biscuit joints have really helped to keep those edges from slipping and now it's all screwed down. That's given me a really firm base to fix all my cabinetry to. Don't forget if you haven't done already, please make sure you subscribe. We'll be looking at every single stage of this build right through to completion and it'll be great to have you along. I've had some fantastic comments, love reading those and I'll reply to them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Cheers.